What's up, friend? Today is gonna be a little bit of a different video, but I hope you enjoy it. And in this video I'm going to show you how to make money in Anno 1800. And I picked out six different ways that I found are very effective to make money in each state of the game, but especially in the early game, where you need money the most. So let's start off with the first way. And that is to sell soap to Eli Bleakworth. And all the NPCs request some wares. Archie, for example, wants coal. And Madame Kahina wants fur coats or anything else. But uh, Eli's trade is especially good because he only needs soap and he gives us a lot of money for it. As you can see here, for 300 tons of soap, he will give us 115,000, which is a lot considering that you can come by soap very early in the game and it's also pretty easy to produce. So, if you're in need of money, just check if you have some extra soap on your main island or somewhere else and just sell it to him. And if you want to create a steady flow of income through that, you can dedicate an island to produce tons of soap, create a small trade route like I did here, and then you will get a lot of money just like that, just for selling soap to Eli Bigworth. And the next one is also a very good way to make some money if you need it, because you can sell your ships at the NPC traders. And for a ship of the line you will get $25,000 and for a battle cruiser, look at that, you get $400,000 for a battle cruiser, which is a lot because you don't need money to build them except for the shipyard costs and you can sell them for a lot of money and it's always half the amount of what you can buy them for. And the next way to make money is to buy island shares of NPCs or even your mates. But I wouldn't suggest that. But if you buy some island shares, you can see there the share value is 5000. That means when you buy it, that will add 5000 to your balance. So their island will basically work in your favor. And you can also uh, sell the shares again, but I wouldn't suggest that. I would suggest you to wait for the NPC to buy the share back because most of the time it will rise in value and then they will give you more money back than you bought it for. But an even better way to manage the shares is, in my opinion, to just build a little bit of a war fleet, then go to the harbor, just destroy it and basically capitulate the island and then Let's wait for the island to capitulate, it's pretty easy. But when they do, you can either conquer the island or claim the shares. And then, when you claim the shares, you will just get all the shares for free. You only have to spend some influence. And that will give you all the share income of that island. Also, it will give you the option to still buy the island, but I wouldn't do that. I would again just wait for the NPC to buy the shares back because that will give you a lot of money. Alternatively, you can sell those shares to the queen because you got them for free anyways. And that will also give you a nice amount of money. Next up, we got looting pirate ships. And this one is also a very good one for the early game because if you're at war anyways with the pilots in the beginning, you can just build a few basic ships and just destroy their cannon boats and they will drop most of the time some items. Oh, here I just got a green one, but they will also drop legendary items very early on and those will give you hundreds of thousands of dollars, which is very very good in the beginning. Also they will drop stuff like gold and rum and stuff, which you can either supply a city with or also sell. Now for the last one, this is just the obvious one, it's to supply your citizens with the right things. Because some things, if you hover over them here, will give you more coins than others. For example, most of the time, the happiness needs um, will give you more money than the needs themselves. 
but there are exceptions. For example here the fur coats give us a lot and beer is also very recommended in the early game. If you have a good supply of beer you almost certainly uh, have green numbers. And a nice little trick here is also to go in the production statistics and balance out your green and the blue bars because if you're overproducing a lot then you will spend more money on the production than you can actually supply your citizens with. Meaning your citizens will not spend enough money to cover your production cost. So keep them balanced. Also if you go into the production menu you can see pretty detailed how much money you make. If you go into production then on consumer goods then you can see for example for the cars on all islands do have a slight overproduction, but uh, I boosted the production anyway. So, um, yeah, you can see with all the costs, it comes out at 160,000 plus balance. And that's for almost all the consumer goods. So, basically, just build them, supply your citizens with it, and you should get a steady flow of income. Now, it's time to honor the investors again. And if you want to support me even more, you can either become an investor over Patreon or you can just become a channel member right here on YouTube. That will also unlock some better icons for you and some other nice things. So check it out, that would mean a lot to me. And thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if so, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.